Welcome to Mendix Low Code App Development's front end part. In this video, we will show you how to configure front end of your Mendix app in a nutshell. To be able to do that, you need Mendix Developer software. The Mendix Developer software that we are using is 7.23.4. Let's start it. Here we have a blank dashboard page. To design the dashboard page, some widgets are used. So, let's start with these widgets. Data view. This widget displays a single object from an entity or a database. In the properties of the data view, as data source of data view can be an entity or a microflow to add extra logic to your application. We can use our data view to show an asset, so we choose get asset view microflow. To give a structure to our page, we use layout grid widget. We can drag and drop it. When we drag and drop it, we can choose one of the given structures of layout grid. Each column in the layout grid has a weight. Weight have to be a number from 1 to 12. Weights of the columns in a layout grid have to be sum up to 12. So in our case, we choose 3 by 9. Another widget to show object is list view. In properties, we can set data source. In our case, we chose get assets microflow. So we display all of our assets. There are also other features in the properties. Inside in this list view, we can place text box and text area widgets. A text box can be used to display and or edit a textual value. Text box must be connected to an attribute of variable type string. We want to show assets here, so we choose name of assets. Showing label is optional. Let's choose not to show it. In editability section, if you would like to display something, instead of edit it, it should be chosen editability is read only text. A text area also can be used to display and or edit text value like text box. But text area can take a long text values which can be split over several lines. Here we can show description of an asset and click OK. Now we put a new data view. This time we set the data source type listen to widget. The listen to widget data source allows a data view to display detailed information on an object selected in a list widget on the same page. Here you can put a line chart and customize it depending on which data you want to display. Another page we can make is an error page. Here we can create a text box and write please login to inside of it. Let's set the render mode as heading 1 and there we go. Thank you for watching.